Oh hey, you didn't see it there. I was just too busy being in the future. So a couple years ago, I decided to buy a Google Pixel, and when I did that, I also bought the Google Daydream VR headset for some reason. And the headset is kind of cool. You can play games on it, like this game called Drift Racer. You know, not the most advanced looking game, but at least it's kind of fun. I think I'm gonna throw up. So I decided to turn my room into a VR game, and I started that off by measuring all the shit in my room. Here you can see how precise and accurate my drawing is by this line being 8 inches and this one being 8.5 inches. Once I got all my dimensions written down, I needed to convert them from inches to meters because... I started by modeling the layout of my room in Blender, and then imported that into Unity to make sure the dimensions looked right. The corners of my real room didn't match at all with the corners in the game, but changing the camera's field of view from 60 to 50 made a big difference. I then started modeling all the big pieces of furniture in my room in a low poly art style because I don't know how to model. Hey guys, Blender Dude back here with another sweet Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be going over how to make a hamper. First thing you're gonna want to do is get yourself a cube. Then select the top face and press the I key on your keyboard to enter isosceles mode so you can move these lines around like so. Once these lines are in place, you want to press this button on your keyboard called the E to enter explorer mode and move the face down like so. And there you go, you got yourself a hamper. So after terribly modeling my desk, dresser, TV unit, and bed, I added them into Unity and moved them around to resemble my room. Oh yeah, I also made this shotgun too. I decided to be original and make a game about zombies, and the zombies would enter my room from the doorway, the two windows, and the basic game loop would be, you have to kill the zombies before they smack the shit out of you. Now Google, being the genius game developers they are, decided you have to play their VR games with a TV remote. Except it only has three buttons. So to use the shotgun, you press the top button until you run out of ammo, and then you flick the controller up to reload. Getting back to the zombies, I made them follow a set of points until they reached the player, but was unsure how they would climb up through my windows. Uh... Looks pretty stupid, but so is this whole game, so I'm gonna keep it. So now that the game is barely playable, I think it's time to take my headset for a spin and show you guys this dumpster fire. Uh oh, that's never a good sign. Alright, so this is my room, aka the debug den. Over here we have my TV unit with my PS4 and my PS4 games. Then we have my dresser with Picasso's famous big Yoshi painting. And then we got my Nintendo swap. Over here we have my 15 polygon bed. And I know what you're thinking, yes, it's a Tempur-Pedic. And then above my bed we have T-Post and Carl because growing up I was always a big fan of Danny Phantom. And finally over here we have my desk, which is where all the magic happens. That's a mic by the way. And yeah, that's about- oh, I almost forgot. I have a bracky shrine in my closet. So anyways, I guess we'll just play the game now. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on creating a sniper scope effect. This is what we'll be creating today. It's a really cool effect and it can look pretty complicated. 